in this chapter we are going to learn cursors there are two type of two types of cursors are there one is implicit cursor and second one is explicit cursor straight away we are going to see example for implicit cursor here i am going to use declare i am going to declare a variable called the x of data type test m percentage row type begin select star into x from test m where id is equal to 1 it will fetch the record where id is 1 and store it in x for that the system creates a implicit cursor without giving any name from that cursor area only we are going to fetch the values and we are going to work with and the program will end but whenever we are going to use a select statement which is going to fetch multiple records then this particular one is not possible for example select a star into x from test m and here i am going to give semicolon if at all i give this particular statement will give error because without any condition when we are using select statement it will return multiple records this multiple records cannot be stored with a single record variable so here we are bringing the explicit explicit cursor concept what we are going to do is i am going to create a cursor call here cursor c yes cursor c is is a statement going to create a cursor and the name of the cursor is c and this is going to store a particular select statement select star from test m so now it's going to select all the records of test m and store it in a cursor called c the cursor having multiple sections whenever we are using cursor first of all we have to de declare a cursor variable called cursor c cursor c is a select star from test m this statement will create a cursor variable that's all it will not have a, any memory structure it will not have any records from the test table and all so here this creates a cursor variable that's it when it is going to create a cursor memory area so whenever i am going to say open c it means i am going to create a memory structure and i'll execute this select statement and get the records from the table and put it in that particular area that area where i'm storing all the data is called context area and the records which is available in that context area is called as active set now i created a memory structure and store all the values and the pointer points to that the top most record if at all i want to work with that particular record i suppose to use fetch statement to fetch that particular value from the context area then only i can process with it for example i am going to create a record variable x test_m percentage row type after that i am going to use fetch statement fetch c into x this particular statement will fetch the record which is pointed by the cursor variable will be stored in a record variable called x this particular value i can use it as usual uh, we discussed in the previous chapter dbms underscore output dot put underscore line here i can use like x dot name it will print the name of that particular value when i want to fetch another value then i can use another fetch statement here fetch c into x and if at all i am using this dbms statement once again dbms statement once again this will print the name of the second record like that i can use this fetch statement repeatedly but using this method we may not know whether that particular table is having these many records or not so to avoid all these confusions here we can go for using a 
while loop i can say while c percentage found percentage found is an attribute which help to identify the status of the cursor if at all your record is available this percentage found will return true if there is no record available in the table then it is going to return a false value so when c percentage found it means whenever i have a value available with this particular table i am going to execute this loop inside the loop what i am going to do is i am going to print the value of the particular record name then for going from one record to another record i suppose to have one more fetch statement fetch c into x and here i am going to end the while loop end loop that's all this particular statement will fetch all the records from the context area and it is going to print the name from that particular table and whenever this particular percentage found returns a false value it will come out of the loop and the program will be terminated if at all we are using while loop then we have to declare the cursor then we have to declare a record variable then we have to open it then fetch it and we have to proceed with the loop here i have another simple statement called simple looping statement called a for loop whenever i am going to use for loop here i no need to declare the record variable i no need to open the cursor i no need to fetch the value see for example i am using for loop whenever i am going to use for loop i no need to use the record variable because record variable declaration will be automatically done in the for loop similarly we no need to open a cursor this is again not required and we no need to fetch also straight away i am going for the for loop after declaring the cursor for x in c loop so all the c values will be stored in x and i am going to use dbms output dot put line statement x dot name and again i no need to fetch use the fetch statement here end loop this is a very simple program for printing all the names of uh the employees from the test m table using cursor program whenever we want to use this cursor program for printing then straight away we can use as it is mentioned here but whenever we want to go for using all these cursors for update or delete then we have to declare the cursor like this cursor c is a select star from testm for update or cursor c is select star from testm for delete then here i can say for x in c loop i can go for update statement here because i have created this particular cursor for updating the value update test m set salary equal to salary plus 50 the where condition is where current of c so now i am going to increase 50 reals for all the employees of the table m or test m so in the where condition i no need to use, uh, use any comparison operator straight away i can say current of c to show that the current record i want to update it and this particular cursor i have created for updating the value of the table and it's not not only just for displaying the values when we are creating a cursor for using update reasons here also we can use dbm statement for printing the values that particular current record will be printed using that dbms output statement and with this cursor program getting over thank you